All right, let's get started. In this video, we're going to review what we did on the first day. On the first day, we first looked at the breadboard. The breadboard is just a board that has different holes that are connected horizontally, if you remember. And there was a line that separated the left side from the right side. Okay, and we use the breadboard to connect different components like resistors, LEDs, and so on. We also looked at the Arduino board. The Arduino board had a little computer here, or a micro processor that we use to program. It also had some logic pins here. that were responsible for logic system. We also looked at the ground on the Arduino board that corresponded to our low end or the zero. The Arduino has two other grounds here, one there and one there. So let's make our first circuit and make an LED blink. So what we do first is we take a wire from one of these logic pins, logic pin, and we take that and put it into the board. So now all of this is pin 8, which is responsible for a logic system. And we need another wire from the ground, any of this we could use. We put it here. So now this is ground or the low end and to make an LED glow we just need to put the LED on the way that means we need to connect the positive side of the LED to pin 8 which is the high end and the shorter one to the low end because if you remember the LED had two legs the one that was longer was positive and the other one that was shorter was negative negative. and if you look at the LED it has a flat spot that tells you that side is negative so now you have a complete circuit if you use the computer program and let the electrons flow you see that electrons will start flowing from pin 8 they'll find their way all the way through here, they'll go through the positive they'll go through this LED and they'll find their way to ground and that is your circuit in the next video I will show you how to program the LED and make it blink